All right, g'day guys, welcome back to True Footy for today's video doing the annual AFL Finals predictions. The round technically hasn't finished yet. We've still got St. Kilda clapping Fremantle's cheeks deep in the last quarter, which uh, has given me a little bit of satisfaction. I think uh, I was kind of torn about the result of that last game because really wanted the Eagles to both finish higher than Fremantle, but also get the better draft pick uh, going into the draft. But as it stands, Fremantle are going to finish about uh, 11th and West Coast is going to finish 9th. And anyway, that means the result between Essendon and Collingwood later today is going to be completely irrelevant. So I can jump on and do my AFL finals predictions. It has been an incredible final round of the 2021 season. In fact, I think this is the most dramatic finish to a season we've ever seen, starting from Friday night all the way down to Saturday night. And uh, the last couple of games might be, you know, it could be a spectacle between Essendon and Collingwood, but it doesn't actually impact the final standings on the ladder. So we're going to push on with this finals prediction. Of course, as I open Squiggle, it's still got the St. Kilda versus Fremantle game uh, open, and they're about 10 goals up. So you know what? Let's just put them at 60 points or whatever it's going to be. I still think Essendon is going to win today, but it doesn't really matter, so I'll give them a four-goal win. And uh, I think on just the tips, I tip north for an upset there, but you can feast your eyes on that ladder. I'm looking mainly at that top eight, uh, Melbourne take home the minor premiership. That was huge. That was dramatic. I'm going to do a video on the, the finish to the season. Should be out sometime tomorrow. Um, and that sets up a week one finals setup of Melbourne versus Brisbane. At this point, it's looking like that's going to be at Adelaide Oval. I think that's going to get announced after this video. But um, I think John Ralph was saying that it's going to be Melbourne versus Brisbane at Adelaide Oval. Bulldogs hosting Essendon. At, uh, again, undisclosed at the moment, could be Adelaide Oval, could be the Gabba or something like that. Either way, certainly not in Victoria. Either way, going to be a neutral venue. Sydney versus GWS is looking like it's going to be down in Hobart as well at uh, Blunston Arena. I'd imagine that's where it would be. And then Port Adelaide get a genuine home final, the only home final of this opening round against the Cats at Adelaide Oval. So we'll crack into it. This is going to be a pretty short and sweet video. Just going to do my carefree predictions. Um, generally, I'm not pretty good at predicting anyway, but we're going to have a good crack. Uh, and of course, Just the Tips will continue throughout the final series as well, uh, where you get more in-depth sort of listings of how we think teams are going to go. So Melbourne versus Brisbane at Adelaide Oval. We saw these two teams face off um, earlier this season in Sydney at the Giants Stadium, if I'm not mistaken. I uh, don't think Brisbane's played at Adelaide Oval this year. I could be wrong on that. I'm probably wrong on that. But we know that Melbourne won there, you know, four weeks ago. And I think Melbourne is slightly the better team, but Brisbane have finished this season really red hot. So I'll save a lot more of my analysis for just the tips, but I'm going to tip Melbourne to win that one. I just trust them a little bit more. The Bulldogs hosting Essendon. The Bulldogs, man, they're looking so questionable the last three weeks. I think a lot's been talked about Josh Bruce's lack of involvement. Obviously, he's done his ACL, but they kind of looked a bit flat before that. I don't think it's as simple as that. Let a massive opportunity to go begging against Port Adelaide. That being said, I think they'll snap into gear. Finals really is a new season. They'll beat Essendon. So Sydney versus the Giants. This one is actually really tough. So I'm kind of torn here because Sydney are considered one of the, the better teams outside the four who... Uh, them and the Bulldogs who can really shake things up in the finals but I think there's a sneaky chance they do go out in week one because of how well the Giants have been playing their last three were wins against Carlton Richmond and Geelong that Geelong game sticks out like a sore thumb to beat them at GMHBA although they haven't been too red hot there either this this one's got some upset spice about it I really respect the Giants I will go conservative and tip the Swans. Interestingly, it will be the second uh, Sydney Derby final. Um, to think the Eagles and Dockers have been in the competition for 25, 26 years now. Uh, never played in a final, and these two sides will be playing off in their second. That's ridiculous. Um, yeah, I think the Swans will be slightly too good down in Hobart. Port Adelaide versus Geelong is a tough one. These guys played in week one of the finals last year, and Port Adelaide won. And the Cats, if I'm not mistaken, beat them in Adelaide earlier this season. I think the Cats are a better side, but Port Adelaide, looking red hot at the moment. There's a lot of criticism about them not being able to beat top four sides. They've just done that this week. And I'm pretty sure, looking at the health of their list, this is the healthiest Port's been all season, or at least certainly healthier than they were when they took on these sides. So I'm actually going to tip Port in this. Uh, that could come back to bite me, but... There's no pre-finals buy. Normally Geelong lose after a buy, but that's not the case here. I'm going to tip Port to win that, but I still think Geelong are definitely one of the best teams in it. Anyway, we'll move down to the semifinals. Brisbane uh, and the Bulldogs will 
be at the GABA, you'd think, pending COVID. Um, otherwise, it'd be neutral, but we'll assume for now it's at the GABA. <sighs> Two pretty evenly matched sides, but with the current form lines, the lines looking a lot stronger. The dogs could definitely knock them out. They could, and that would be straight, straight sets. But Brisbane looking very good. The way they sort of charge home against the Eagles late there. This is a bit of a revenge, like because obviously the Lions knocked the dogs out of the top four late due to partially a timekeeping error, you could say. But I, I think the Lions will actually get the job done there. Then the Geelong will play Sydney at a location unknown at the moment. They may choose to stay in Adelaide so they don't have to cross any borders, which means this game would obviously be at Adelaide. Sydney have played one game in Adelaide this year and went down to Port. I think Geelong knock them out. I think Geelong are too good to go straight sets. Um, and that, yeah, I think that's fair enough to suggest. I hope that Buddy Franklin kicks four in both finals, gets to the 1,000 goals, but don't think they're actually going to beat Geelong. And if they did, that would be a huge boil over. So that leaves us with the top four, with no, no team going out in straight sets. The top four is Melbourne, Geelong, Port Adelaide, and Brisbane. The Dogs, the unlucky one there, but with just their flat end of the season, you know, one of those five or six teams that are good enough to win the flag, you know, two of them have to go out in week two. So I've tipped the Dogs in Sydney. Surprise, surprise, that's the current ladder. Melbourne versus Geelong. Now, this could be in Melbourne, but not if they can't have crowds. So the next logical choice is Melbourne choose where to play this game. And you'd think if they choose week one to be in Adelaide, they'd choose this game to be in Adelaide too. Uh, and again, that would mean Geelong don't actually have to leave the state. So that that's quite fascinating, actually, if Geelong play an entire final series in South Australia. But Melbourne obviously just knocked off them, uh, knocked them off. They've beaten them twice this year. Came back from seven goals down to beat them at GMHBA. They've got the mental edge this year. They've also beaten them in a final in 2018. I think the D's get it done. I think it does get it done, which means the Cats, who were probably my pick to make the grand final or at least win it a few weeks ago, they might just fall short. But it's, it's a game of inches, and that game could go either way. Port Adelaide hosting Brisbane at Adelaide Oval. Adelaide, a Port would have again not left Adelaide for this entire final series. Had the week off. Will that really benefit them? Probably, with no pre-finals by. Um, that rest will help. But Brisbane would have just played there two weeks before. Port fans are going to hate me. I'm going to tip the upset here. I'm going to tip an upset and say Brisbane make the grand final. That's a huge call. I know people are going to take exception to that. I'm sorry. I think Port could definitely win that. I think that's 50-50, but I'm just going to go with a Ruffy here to shake things up. And then you've got a Melbourne versus Brisbane grand final, possibly in Perth. We'll find out. Hopefully not by the time this video comes out, but uh, sometime soon we're going to find out whether the grand final is at Adelaide Oval or Perth. I doubt they can lock in the MCG. Um, this far out because I said they would give us a decision soon and I'm going to tip the D's to win the flag I think Caden McDonald's written the script for this season to beat <laughs> to beat along with Max Gorn kicking a goal after the siren uh, that is just ludicrous Brisbane could definitely win this probably one of the better fourth placed sides in terms of their ranking in the premiership stakes I think they're just about as good as anyone um, and yet barely scraped into fourth it's just been the nature of this top four race but there you go Demons to win the flag. Clayton Oliver for the Brownlow, but Petrarca for the Norm Smith. And uh, Coleman's already been decided with Harry Mackay there. So there you go, guys. That is my prediction. I've been I've been consistently saying Melbourne for a long time, to be honest. I think in my power rankings I might have dropped them down a little bit, but I still believe I still believe that their best is better than anyone's. And their their biggest test will be Geelong in the prelim if that's the way it unfolds. But that's just the way I see it, guys. So hope you enjoyed this little snapshot of what I think the finals will look like um let us know in the comments what you would do differently as i'm sure you don't need too much invitation to do that stay tuned for heaps of content coming out i'm going to be doing my power rankings for the finals i'm going to be doing just the tips this week and every other week as well and uh busher and i are going to do some season reviews for the uh the teams that miss the finals as well so if your team isn't involved in this um you're still involved in the channel we're going to be talking about you this week um going to be doing the format a little bit differently probably do it in the podcast but release it as individual videos as well so appreciate you watching guys subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next one